We had a couple of new countries for D-Lab this year. One of them was Peru, one was Tanzania. And I went to Peru and it was really great. We had a couple of uh, sort of different types of projects than we usually have. So one of them was uh, working with this tuberculosis diagnostics with a hospital down there. And it's this neat new diagnostic me method that was developed by a local uh, scientist and a lot of people from sort of the global health uh, community have come to the hospital to keep working on it. And we've been looking at adapting our, um, our incubator for use in that application. And it went really well and in fact there was uh, while we were there, another guy who was going out into the jungle to do these uh, string tests to figure out some, I think, stomach parasite work, uh, he took our incubator along as well and apparently it worked well in that application. So that was nice because those are two new applications for the incubator. We also did some more charcoal work, which was really exciting because um, we were working with this orphanage outside of Lima, 600 kids um, in one orphanage. It's amazing. and. You know, uh, just feeding the kids is, uh, 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 you know, an ordeal, and they do it, you know, every single day. So one thing we did was we found out some things that they could use just to help with that. So we're, uh, for the design class, we're actually making a soy milk maker. They can only afford to give milk to their kids three times a week, but with if they could make their own soy milk for the same amount of money, they could provide soy milk every single day. And so that would just do great things for the nutrition for the kids. Um, but also what we did was we started working with the kids there to make charcoal in order to um, have a sort of a marketable skill when they leave the orphanage. And that was really neat because there's also, believe it or not, uh, an organization which is essentially a factory that makes charcoal briquettes only for orphanages. So what we did was we worked out the system where uh, Fernando would take the corn cob charcoal that these kids had made, crush it up, and then use his um, use his uh, machinery to make these large briquettes that the orphanage could then use, and, and they are using these briquettes for cooking. And so it's sort of a nice thing where the, the orphanage will be able to sort of augment their um, their cooking capabilities with the stuff that their their own kids are, are making. So that was kind of cool and he really he really likes it. Right now they're using coal which doesn't burn as cleanly and is a lot harder to start. With the corn cob charcoal they're lighter which makes them easier to transport. They um, they burn cleaner and they also um, they light really easily compared to the other. So that's kind of neat and we're going to keep working on that. Uh, the other thing we did that was awesomely fun was uh, we had these little corn shellers that come from Africa they're just little devices that you use to strip the kernels off of the cob. And, you know, they just didn't have them in, in Peru. So what we did was we, uh, we brought them, we showed them to people. They were, you know, they loved them. It was difficult for us to keep an eye on them at these village demonstrations, but we managed to hang on to them. And, uh, and then we found this guy who's got a workshop in Cusco who um, took our sort of injection molded part that we had brought with us from Malawi, and he figured out how to make it in his shop, which is a metal shop, so he redesigned it so it was made out of um, sheet metal, and he wanted to use food grade stainless so that it would um, not do anything bad to the um, the corn that folks were processing with it. And so he made this really nice um, little uh, sheet metal sheller, and um, and so he's going to start producing them. And then Jesse, who's a former student of mine who's living in Cusco, is going to work on with him on how to sort of disseminate it and get it out there. So that was a really neat project. I especially like things where you know, uh, we're sharing technologies from country to country, so that was uh, that was pretty cool too. And uh, yeah, so that was D Lab Peru. Um, and then, and I, I should say we also did you know water testing. We uh, climbed up a mountain and uh, saw their water system, and were able to make some recommendations for keeping it cleaner. And then we also showed them how they can uh, treat the water in their homes. So that was pretty interesting as well. And we had a pedal powered grain mill and. Yeah, so we were very busy, pretty productive, and uh, now we're uh, working on taking everything to the next step.